Good morning, folks. We've got a lot to cover today, including a comet, earthquakes, a major storm, space weather impact on the global ionosphere, and the climate extremes we discussed a decade ago, key prediction, staring us right in the face. We'll start with the last 24 hours on our star. It's quiet, very quiet. Not sure it's destined to stay that way, but for now, solar flaring has disappeared. The sunspot situation is on the decline, but that too may soon change. And the calm solar wind and geomagnetic condition is due to change even sooner. This massive coronal hole, likely the largest since the last sunspot cycle, will send its solar wind toward Earth, and that is expected to arrive tomorrow. The enormity of it suggests its magnetic fields are pretty potent, so we also enter an excess magnitude event watch as well. The sunspots are decaying. The drop in flares is not surprising, and now the majority are departing view top right. The Earth-facing group on the north is spread magnetically. We'd need development in that group to have significant flares, but just as the one door closes, opens another, the sun lives on that. Big sunspot turning in on the north, Looks like there's more coming behind that from helioseismic returns as well. Many are seeing the bright object on SOHO, and folks, that is Comet G3 Atlas. It's passing by the sun right now, and it has a very inclined orbit, spends most of its time south of the solar system, only comes up for a brief swing around the sun, which it is doing now. It is in perfect viewing angle for the Earth, won't come anywhere near our planet. Some speculate it may struggle to survive its pass. I guess we will see over the next two days. Biggest quake of the last 24 hours was a 6.2 in Mexico. Luckily, it was pretty deep. There are no reports of major emergencies coming out of the area just yet. By the way, this is still happening. Swarm ongoing for days at the East African Rift. Got eyes on all the seismic events, especially with us entering another watch period here. Folks, that storm scraped the northern coast of Madagascar, and luckily, it was just the tip. Did a fair bit of damage and caused flooding in that area, though. It is now moving to slide southward between the island and Africa. Up next, we've got two important studies on the equatorial ionospheric impact of solar storms, with the ionospheric excitement being the key to global electric circuit-driven weather forcing. The whole Earth impact to the ionosphere is key. It's not just the polar cusps in play, but the equator. And the penetrating electric fields from above are how it all works. These are known to impact the equator via waves of energy, similar to the infrared ones we see on Jupiter, and they meet at the equator, causing a resounding energization across the planet when we get dinged by the sun. It's a key pathway of rapid solar forcing of the atmosphere. Last but not least, really hope there is someone who has been here long enough to remember when I said to watch for weather extremes in both directions, the hydroclimate event, just like what happened 6,000 and 12,000 and 18,000 years ago and during every other geomagnetic excursion like we're entering now, and watch how they squirmed to try to blame anthropogenic forcing. Folks, the extremification is here, happening. Next event at Observer Ranch, we have a special educational session of aid, comms, and care on the 18th. Focuses on ham radio, there is a chance to win one. Observer Meetup will happen on the 21st, and there's a pole shift conference on the 25th. As you probably have heard and remembered, we have several other pole shift conference opportunities for you this year. Our grand opening is going to be in April, Dr. Dunning's coming for the Kings of Catastrophe event in May, and there's still more we're going to announce. Nobody ever regrets or forgets coming to an Observer event. Plan a trip to come out and see us. It starts at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now it's 5 30 a.m in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone